Hey yo, it's Audrey. Welcome back to my channel. It's definitely been a while. It's been a fun-filled summer, but I'm back to show you how to make this beautiful crocheted granny square bag. I actually started filming this video in the beginning of July, so let's just get a quick recap, a little story time, if you will, of my crochet journey. So I was just casually scrolling through Pinterest when I came across this picture and I was immediately inspired to replicate it. I hit up Michaels right then because when I have motivation to create, I have to fulfill that motivation to create. If you know, you know. So I bought a bunch of yarn, a crochet hook, and a yarn needle. I liked the colors the picture had, so I color matched as close as I could. Also, if you're wondering, I've crocheted before, but not like this. One of the only other crochet creations I've made is this third of a blanket that I started about two years ago that I still haven't completed. I do not have the best history of crocheting things, but yeah, anyway, this video is going to be long enough, let's not waste time. That same night as exactly 12.32am after I got all of my supplies, I made my very first granny square. I thought it would take me a million tries to get one that even subtly resembled a granny square, but I proved myself wrong. Look at me go. I didn't even end up incorporating the square into my bag at all, I just wanted to have it as my first ever granny square, you know, maybe frame it or something, submit it to a museum if I ever get famous. Well, now that you practically have my entire life story, let's get the show on the road. The next granny square I'm going to make is of purple, yellow, and teal, and then again I got all of these materials from Michaels, so I'm sure you can find them at any craft store. What I'm going to first do actually is just kind of unwind this a little bit just so that when you're making your crochet knots that it doesn't get too tight because then that'll make your little granny square kind of messed up. Start off by making a slip knot. You just can make a slip knot. I do it like this. I just kind of put it around my finger and then make a little loop like that and then put the string back through to make another loop just like that and then you can just put that on your crochet hook and then just tighten it just like that so then you have this little end hanging down and you have the rest of your string this way to chain four you're going to i'm going to hold this end with that so it doesn't get in the way um to chain four you're going to use your hook and put the yarn over like this and then pull it through and then so that was one that was one chain so you're gonna do that again put the yarn over pull through put the yarn over pull through and one more put the yarn over and pull through so now you have your little chain of four you can see one two three four it's kind of going in like a circle pattern basically all the colors are kind of going around it so obviously we need our base to be a little circle so that's what we're going to kind of make this into you're going to just take your crochet hook and see this first like chain right here you're just going to go right inside of it just like that so now that that's the hook is on this side again you're going to put the yarn over yarn over and then pull through just like that and again make sure it's nice and loose I take that same one and pull it all the way through just like that now we just have this little circle shape and you can kind of see that we have this hole in the middle right there and that's basically what we're going to be using to do all of our knots and then also just make sure that this string stays out of the way you don't want that to interfere with the rest of your stuff. Chain two again, and remember to chain. Put the yarn over like this. Just use your crochet hook to grab that yarn like that. Pull through. And then do that same thing again. Yarn over and pull through. And then you have just changed two. Now we're going to move on to our double crochet knots. Um, so there's going to be basically four sets of three. So this is three double crochet knots, this is three double crochet knots, this is three, and this is three. So basically this chain two we did, this is just going to kind of count as one of those um, double crochet knots. So to make another double crochet knot, 
basically what you do you yarn over and then we're gonna go into that hole that I talked about earlier you're just gonna go in there and then again yarn over and then now you should have three little loops on your crochet hook and then you're gonna yarn over again pull it through those first two and I should have two yarn over again and pull it through the second two so that is how you do a double crochet knot and then again we have one two and then now we need one more double crochet knot so what we're gonna do again yarn over and then go into that center hole yarn over again bring it back up now you have three loops and then yarn over and then pull it through the first two and now you have two loops yarn over again and then pull it through the second two so there we have it we have our first little set of three you can kind of see one two three you can see those two little sections so imagine this was our first section this is what we just did our three right there right and you can kind of see how there's a space where this next row is so what we're going to do is we're going to chain two again and do three more double crochet chain two double crochet chain two three double crochet it's just like a pattern you repeat throughout the whole thing so again like i said we have our three double crochet and then we're going to chain two yarn over pull through so we just did our two chains and then we're going to do three more double crochet so go ahead yarn over go through that same center hole yarn over in there bring it back now you have your three loops again yarn over bring it through two, yarn over, and bring it through the second two. So now we have one double crochet right there. And then we need two more. So yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over again, bring it back. Now you have three loops, yarn over, bring it through two, yarn over again, and bring it through the second two. So now we have two, we need one more. So yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over again. Now we have three loops, yarn over, bring it through two, yarn over and bring it through the second two. So now you can kind of see it start to form. Here we have our first one and then we have our chain two right here. And then we have three more double crochet. Now again, to make our corner, chain two again. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now you have your chain two. And then what you're gonna do is yarn over again, put it through the hole, yarn over again, yarn over, and then bring it through two, and then bring it through the second two. So now we need two more double crochet, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through the second two. Now we need one more, yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the second two. Now you can kind of see how we have these like two little corners right here. You have three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, and these are each our chain twos. So again, to make our third corner, you're gonna chain two again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then again, we need to finish off our last three. So yarn over, Put it through that hole and then grab that yarn now you should have three loops yarn over pull through two 
yarn over, pull through the second two. Now, second one, yarn over, put it through the hole, grab that yarn, yarn over again, put it through two, put it through two. Now we just need one more double crochet, yarn over, put it in the hole, yarn over, now we have three loops, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. We just need our last chain two to make that last corner. So you're going to chain two like this. You can see this first chain two that we did. There's one right here and now there's one right here. You can kind of see these chains all around the outside. But we're going to go to that second one. We put that through there and then yarn over, bring that yarn through. So now you have two loops on here. And then you're just gonna use that same one and go through that one too, just like that. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna yarn over, pull through to make that loop right here. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and then cut off an end and pull that loop through and tighten it. So now you kind of have your first row all finished. Now we kind of want to just hide these ends. That is where the little yarn needle comes in. Um, so you can see this is our front side because you can see all of the chains along the outside. This is the back. It looks slightly messier, looks a little bit, just doesn't look like the front, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I kind of want to meet these strings up to hide them together. So what I'm gonna do is basically weave this string through here to get to that one. Here, I'm just gonna thread my needle. And then here you go. I'm just gonna kind of find some loops that I can maybe hide this through. So like this. this under here and then just pull that through pull your end through and then just like that these two strings are together but then yeah you can kind of see all these loops right here and our strings right here so I'm gonna just hide these just kind of Leave my needle through here. Just kind of through about that many and then just pull them through. And then now that you've pulled that through here to really just make it secure, I'm not gonna go back through here. I'm gonna skip over this one right here just so that it kind of catches if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna go back through those. Now you can just clip off your ends. Bam! Just like that, you have your little starting piece. So to get started on this one, it's gonna be a little different than starting for the very first one. You're going to just take your crochet hook and you can see these spaces of the corners. You're just going to put your crochet hook through any of the corners. It doesn't matter. And then you're just going to lay your yarn over and just kind of grab that end and then pull it through. So you have this like this. And then what you're going to do is hold these two strings like this, yarn over both of them. Pull them both through the little loop we just made. And then again, to count as our very first double crochet, um, we are going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And while this is not an actual double crochet, it's gonna count as our very first one, just cause that's just kind of our start. So then for this section, to finish off our little groups of three, you're gonna do another double crochet, yarn over, put it through that hole, 
Yarn over again, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the second two. So then there's our second, and then yarn over, put it through that hole, yarn over in there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the second two. So here we have our kind of first group of three. But then again, we want to create that same corner that we have for this first section. So what we're going to do, big surprise, chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then on this same exact section, we're going to do three more. So go through the same hole, yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two yarn over, pull through the second two. So then there we have our start of our second group of three. So now yarn over, put it through that same hole, yarn over in there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we just need one more to complete this little group of three. Yarn over, put it through that hole, yarn over, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the second two. It's like a tongue twister, I keep messing up my words. So then there you can see we have our first little corner like this. And then now your first instinct would be to chain two over here and go into there. But that is actually not what we're going to do. We're just going to go straight into this next hole right here. So yarn over. And then go down into here, yarn over through there, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. And then like this one, we're just gonna do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So there we have one double crochet. Um, yarn over, put it through, grab that yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's our second, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So then there's our third. And now again, we're gonna chain two to create that corner space. One, two, yarn over, to start our next group of three, put it through, Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go through that same hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we just need one more double crochet to finish this corner. Yarn over, through that same hole, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there we have it. That is our second little section and again we still have this extra string just kind of hanging down right there so again we don't chain two here we're gonna go straight into that next corner so yarn over put it through yarn over pull through like that yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over through, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, put it through that hole, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And now to make our corner, again, you're gonna chain two, one, two. Now we need three more double crochet, yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, Yarn over, put it in that same hole. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. One more, yarn over, put it through that hole. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we've made it to our last corner. Um, again, you don't need to chain two here. Just go ahead and yarn over, put it through that corner. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
There's our first one, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the hole, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. So that is our third one. Now to make our corner, chain two, one, two, yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, two more, yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, one more, yarn over, through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We hook, you can see this one. This is the first chain we did, this is the second. So you're going to put your crochet hook through both of these two little strings right here. So go through those two right here, yarn over, pull through like that, and there's no need to yarn over again, so just pull that same loop through the other one. I'm just going to yarn over, pull through that loop, and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it, and then pull all the way through, make sure it's nice and tight. And now we are just going to flip it over to figure out what the heck we need to do with these ends. We are done with our yellow. I think she looks pretty good. I think she looks better than this one. And now we're just going to move on to our teal. Just like how I started this yellow one, we're again going to take our crochet hook and choose any corner, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it through one of the corners and then we're just gonna kind of pull this string through. Make sure the end just kind of sits there like that. You're going to yarn over with those two strings. Pull both two through. Just like that. Now make sure you have this the end out of the way. And we're going to chain two. One, two. And again, that's going to kind of count as our first double crochet. So now we need two more for this little group. Yarn over, put it through the hole, grab that yarn, over, pull through two, pull through two. That's our second one. Yarn over, put it through, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Since this is a corner, chain two, one, two. And then yarn over, put it through the hole, pull that string, pull it through two, and pull it through two. That's one. Yarn over, put it through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. That's two right there. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So there we go. Now we have our two little sections like this. And since it is getting bigger and bigger each time, now we have another hole right here that we're gonna do another group of three double crochet. We're not gonna go to the corner or else that'll make it all weird and I don't know, distorted. So we're gonna go right into this one right here. And again, this time we're gonna um, chain two we're just gonna yarn over and go straight into that hole like that. And then bring that with you. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Um, do it again, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, 
through that hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There we have it. And you only do one on this. This You did three, but this one is only one. So again, yarn over to our next corner. You don't need to do chain two here. Catch that string. We have three loops. Through two, go through two. Yarn over, through the hole. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, through the hole, yarn over. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then now, what you're gonna do, since it's corner, chain two, one, two. And then three more, double crochet. Now again, going straight into the second one right here, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, over, pull through two, pull through two, two more. And bam. Now to the next corner. I feel like this is very repetitive. You can kind of just see the pattern going on, but I feel the need to explain it just in case some people are confused. So feel free to just kind of skip ahead if you know what you're doing. <laughs> so again, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, through the hole, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then again, since it's a corner, chain two. One, two, yarn over. And then do three more double crochet. There we go. Now moving on to this one. Yarn over and do three more double crochet. Now you have three more. Now we need to go to the corner, yarn over, through the corner, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Now our last little section. Now like the last one we ended off, you can see you have our chain twos. Two right here and two right here. So you're gonna go through the second two. Second two, yarn over, pull that through. And then pull that through the loop too. And then now what you do, you can just make another loop, pull through, pull it off, put it aside, and then just pull this loop all the way through. And then pull that tight. Like that. Let's go to the back side and tuck in those ends. You should know the drill by now. We just have one more layer to do. I'm gonna grab the purple again. There we go. Make sure it's right side up. Grab your crochet hook. Um, again, choose a corner. 
I'll go for this one. It really doesn't matter at all. Um, pull that string through the corner like this. Yarn over like this for both of the strings. Pull it through and let that end string just kind of lay down there. I'm gonna actually hold it with my third finger on middle finger and then guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna chain two. One, two. There we go. That's gonna count as our first double crochet. So we need two more to finish the little group. But on the last time, you're not going to chain two to go to these, but I'm just going to continue doing three, three, chain two, three, 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 chain two, three. Anyway, I'm not going to explain it in detail this time. I just don't feel like talking for each of these, and I feel like you might understand the pattern by now. And here we are going to end it. You can see you have chain one, chain two right here. Go through both of those. And then grab this string, bring it back through. And then you're gonna pull that through that loop. And now to finish it, yarn over, pull that through, cut it, pull it all the way through and tighten it. And then now just weave those strings back through.
That's how to make a granny square. I'm just gonna repeat this process over and over until I have like a ton. Um, and then that's when we will get to making our little bag. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon for part two.